Hi everyone and welcome to Web Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this tutorial about how to create a newsletter pop-up with a bootstrap model and code igniter. Now let's take a look into the example. Refresh. When the user visit your website at first time, he will show a pop-up form like this this form pop-up created by using bootstrap model so when he saw this pop-up there is three actions first enter his email and click subscribe button or close this model by using the X button or close button the third is click anywhere outside the pop-up so if he enter his email here and click subscribe or not accept and click close in these two actions this pop-up not appeared again but if he ignored and click on outside this model it will appear again to notify him to take an action with accept to subscribe or not accept to subscribe now I will close and see what happened as you see the pop-up will disappear let's refresh again it is not appear because we use cookie to save this action in the javascript history now let's clear the cookie and rerun the example now as you see the pop-up will appear again let's try to subscribe web easy step at gmail.com and click subscribe button again the model will disappear let's reload disappeared let's clear the cookie and rerun now the time to test the ignore action I will click outside this pop-up as you see here let's refresh the pop-up will appear again now let's see how this works with the code the first step is to create ci underscore newsletter schema table with the id and the email the second step is to create a new controller with newsletter and we create two functions the first function just to load the newsletter form and the second which is add new to take the post request from Ajax and save it to CI underscore newsletter table step 3 we create a newsletter underscore form and save this file into the views now into the head we should load bootstrap and load jQuery library, bootstrap.js library, and cookie library. After loading this script into the body, we load the container, and into this container, we have the button to clear the cookie, and we will discuss this later, and we have a model. Into a model, we have an ID with model content and we have a model header, a model body, a model footer, model header, model body, model footer. Into model header we have the title for the model, in the model body we have the form input and in the footer we have the close button here close button and 
the subscribe button now let's take a look on the javascript we have many listeners the first listener on clear cookie button here clear cookie button so when someone click on the button that have clear cookie class it will remove the cookie with the name model shown and replace the content with cookie cleared rerun demo as you see here if I click on clear cookie it will replace and clear the cookie why we do this because we want to make an example that you can test many times but already on the production you will clear this button and you will clear this listener the second listener about on you click on subscribed or close or close to classes as you see here this is the first button with the class close the second button with close to the third button with subscribed class if you click on one of those three buttons what happened the model will hide the cookie will set with the name model shown and the clear cookie button will has an effect fade in this works when I click on close the model will hidden and the clear cookie will appear and what again let's see after the second listener we get the cookie with the name model showing and pass it to the pop-up showing variable and we check if the pop-up showing variable has a cookie if yes we will show the console log message with cookie found no action necessary and we will show the clear button as you see here if there is no pop-up showing we will see the console message console.log no cookie found opening pop-up in three seconds and we will hide the clear cookie button and give a three second until show the model and focus on the email input let's clear this and refresh again as you see on the console no cookie found opening in three seconds as you see here if we close and refresh again cookie found no action necessary now the time for the ajax request we create a listener to newsletter id as you see here we set a newsletter id on the button that submit this email if someone click on newsletter it will prevent the default submit for the form and it will get the email from your email id here from here it will get the value and in the post url we add the link to the controller newsletter add new newsletter add new and in the ajax request we use the url post url and the data we post the parameter with the name email and the value this is the value the value variable that come from the email input so when the request success we create a message with the console log 
with the returned data. It will return with the data type JSON. Here in the newsletter, we create the header and this is a post and we get the post set the email with the set function and insert it into the CI newsletter table and return the insert ID with JSON encode when insert this row into the database table let's see here how it works to show the request go to network tab clear and click subscribe button and as you see this is the request when you click this is the response 3 which means the ID for the record let's see here as you see here 3 web easy step at gmail.com and this is about the request what about the cookie how to test the cookie it is very easy to test the cookie on the browser because it is a JavaScript cookie as you see here this is a pop-up on the first time when you go to newsletter and go to cookies tab there is a request cookie CI session this is for the coordinator with the value let's close now it should set the cookie in the background let's refresh again newsletter and under request cookie you will see the model shown with the value yes and if you want to clear it let's see clear and reload again go to newsletter and as you see the cookie cleared I hope this video to be helpful for you and I am really glad to hear any suggestion about the next tutorials and I really appreciate these suggestions finally if you have a question leave a comment and I will answer as soon as possible and if you like this video press like if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe now to get the latest tutorials thank you for watching see you next bye